friends, my name is Andrea Kumon, I'm a mixed media artist from Berlin, Germany and today we are going to create this beautiful watercolor mixed media art journal page together. Okay, so to start with I'll be working in my um, art journal here. Just have a double spread, clipped down the pages so they don't buckle and I will just get started with some Ecoline watercolor here using a large flat brush and then I will just go ahead and start to lay some fun color right down onto the page pink and then going in with some turquoise adding it to the in between spaces but also making sure that the colors blend in some areas so that we have a nice mix here and then I'm cleaning my brush and just with a brush of water going back in to blend the colors some more in some areas because I don't only want or not only want the the plain turquoise green and pink but I really want the in-between shades as well here So going in, just adding some splatters of clear water for a little bit of a texture. Also going into the white space here. Just so that we have a nice abstract watercolor pattern background going on here. So really intuitive and really a lot of fun. I'm going to grab a paper towel, dabbing a little bit back off just here in the spine because I don't want it to bleed through the binding could go back in and add a little more if I want to the new echo lines they come with this pipette which is really nice because you can use it to nicely add some drops of the color right onto your project which I love Okay, I like it. And while this is still wet, I will go ahead and use a little bit of white Ecoline watercolor. Sorry for the strange noise. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going ahead mixing it with some clear water just because it is pretty pretty thick the way it comes out of the little bottle, the little container and once it has a right consistency I'm just going in and adding a little bit of white into the still wet paint here just adding some spritzes you could also go in and directly adding it into some areas. Creates a little bit of a marbled effect which I really love.
Yeah, I like the look now. I'm gonna let it dry. Then I will just go ahead and continue. So next I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scrape a little bit of white acrylic paint onto the page. Just to bring a little bit of white back into the game here. Okay, so next I grabbed some stamps here and my um, the Black Distress Oxid ink pad and then I will just grab an acrylic block. And this will give you a little bit of a watercolor look. And that's actually the look that I'm going for, so I'm not, I'm not going for like the perfect stamp print here. In this case, I'm just kind of going for a little bit of texture that I will add some watercolor, uh, some water <laughs> to in the next step. Yes, kitty cat. <laughs> to bring out this watercolor look even more. Even though it may sound like it, no cuts, no cats were harmed <laughs> during the recording of this video. It's just the loony in the background wanting in and out and in and out and in and out. If you get up and open the door, then he's just looking at you like, well, actually, I, I don't think I want to go out. And once you're sitting again, he's like, okay, I think I want to go out. Open the door. And then you get up and open the door. <laughs> you get the idea. And all of a sudden, he doesn't want to go out anymore. That's cats, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, poor little guy. <laughs> and then I'm just using this one down here with a script. I'm just using it the right the way it is because I just want a little bit of the random texture here on the background. So I'm not even putting it onto an acrylic block because um, I don't need that whole image on here, just a little bit. Of it. So, next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab my spray bottle with some clear water here, and I will just go ahead and give it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A little bit of water. Just a tiny bit in some areas, because this kind of. Um, adds to this watercolor look because the Distress Oxid inks will kind of blend and bleed in those areas. And this gives it a little bit of, of this hand-painted look. I'm just going... <laughs> I'm so sorry guys! <laughs> this sounds terrible! Like I'm the worst cat mom in the world. I am not. So we're going to leave. Let him out. And then he will <laughs> meow again because he wants to come back in. Okay, this has to dry so now I can <laughs> go ahead and focus on the cat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is dry and this leaves you with this really pretty watercolor effect here. It almost looks like you use watercolors to um, sketch those uh, florals, flowers. And next I have some butterfly printouts here and um, a butterfly quote, which I'm just gonna cut into stripes. And before I add the butterfly and the quote, I will just go ahead and First of all, use a stencil and my black 
distress, distress oxid <laughs> and the tool to add a little bit of wording. I think I think for be kind and work hard. It's a nice match for the butterfly. Be kind, work hard. And then for the next step I'm grabbing another stencil and some crystal holographic gel medium here, texture paste and a palette knife just to add a little bit of glitter and sparkle texture here to the page. Because you can never go wrong with glitter, right? <laughs> you can never go wrong with glitter. And I just love this paste because it adds this glitter and sparkle, but in a very non-dominant way so um, it's drying clear and it just leaves a little bit of a raised texture and the glitter um, but it's not like overpowering the rest of the design on a page and that's one thing I really love about this medium like this and maybe a little bit here in the center like that. So I'm going to let this dry real quick. And then next I'm going to go ahead and grab my printed and cut out butterflies here. I'm just going to slightly ink the edges because I left this tiny white border around the cutout to help the butterfly kind of pop off the page a little better. Like this. And then next thing, I printed this one on seven pieces of paper. So once I'm able to peel that backing sheet back off, <laughs> I'm just gonna glue this one. Let me just check real quick. I think I'm just gonna glue this one down here, right down onto the page. And the other one, <clears throat> I printed this on a little bit of heavyweight paper so I will just adhere this in the center with some glue so that it's more in a three-dimensional way so that you can bend the little wings upwards and of course this makes a little more sense if you are working on a canvas for example in a journal this will not like be super super effective however let me just check I'm not sure where I want my I think I want my core to go over here so maybe I will just add this butterfly up here just like this and then I will just go ahead and add my quote My 
like this and then I will just go in with my black pen here adding a little bit of a boxy style frame just very loose, very sketchy and just because I think uh, it kind of for me it integrates the printouts into the page a little more so that they don't look just like glued on but kind of connects them to the page to the original page a little more so I really like this look integrated our quote into the page. So last but not least I want to add some white and some black splatters, paint splatters. I'm just grabbing my white Ecoline watercolor here and a brush with some water slightly diluting it a little more again and then I will just go ahead and split away <laughs> And if the splattering doesn't work well, then you might want to add a little more water because then the consistency isn't perfect for splattering. <laughs> Just grab some black here. Just loading my brush and then going ahead. Adding some tiny black splatters here. Just about like that. And then last but not least I will add some dimensional drops using the irresistible texture sprays. However, I'm not using it as spray. I'm just using this thingy here. <laughs> this pipette thing to add some blobs and splatters and this like vibrant fluorescent pink I think it just adds a nice touch here and what I love about those is that the tiny blobs that you add to the page they dry raised and glossy so it almost looks like those epoxy or epoxy, no, epoxy, those are the different ones. Um, animal, those animal dots that you know from scrapbooking, those tiny stickers that you add to a page uh, with this raised shiny look. Um, so it looks really, really pretty once it's dry as well so it's kind of remains or keeps this look like tiny pearls tiny raised shiny pearls 
even when it's dry. And that's one thing I love about those. Yeah, let me take a look. Yep, like it, calling it done. So guys, hope you enjoyed watching me create this page. Thank you so much for watching, for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your message in the comments. If you like this video, if you like the page, um, just give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, and other than that, wishing you a wonderful day. Bye!